This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Huh? Parents wouldn't let me leave. Okay, here we go. Uh, Blue Meanie, one of our favorites. Oh, one of the best. One of the best guys ever. And look at the crowd. They're hot for him. And he is uh, wrestling as uh, with Supernova, who's dressing up as a Blue Meanie as well. Supernova uh, tried his hand at mortgage banking, and now I think he's just a regular ass banker hmm. somewhere in Kentucky. I think you could probably send him an email like Nova at regular ass banker. You know what I remember about the Cobb County Civic Center? You got a, a bloge in the parking lot once you told me about. No, no, no. no. Parking lot panties. No. Okay. We were we were doing a taping of WCW Saturday night there, a, a WCW taping, and it was my last show before I was going off to the WWE. Hmm. And I was so excited that night to be leaving. I remember walking out that door. I remember distinctly walking out the back door there thinking, I'll never see these motherfuckers again. <laughs> never say never, kids, especially in pro wrestling. That's what I remember about it. I like it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, kind of a different look. I mean, really, than your, your regular ECW arena, obviously. But I'm digging this, you know, and of course you and I have, uh, certainly, uh, gotten a, uh, a well-found respect and love for Tommy rich in the last couple of years. Without question. He came to our low key, big hog event a year ago, uh, and, uh, was just a, a hit and has been our friend and a good guy since then. And I do need to say this. And most of you low key, big hogs who were there know this to be a fact that as uh, much as Conrad Thompson would try to get it out of him, Tommy Rich would n never give in to innuendo and rumor. No, he would not talk about breaking Missy in when she was underage with uh, a hand towel in mm -hmm. his front seat of his car. He wouldn't, he wouldn't talk about that. He also wouldn't talk about the legend that he used to dip his balls in peroxide to, mm -hmm. to bleach his uh, sack meat hair. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he uh, wouldn't, yeah, he wouldn't confirm any of that stuff. And that well, there's been one of the boys. I ain't talk. I don't know shit, <laughs> but I do thank you and Tony for bringing me in and paying me. I do, but I don't know nothing. <laughs> Y'all need me to throw some fake punches. I'm good for it. We went to the, somebody say something about lasagna. lasagna. We went to that comedy club that night and the opening act, that oh, girl was performing. She was doing her best. And Tommy she was, was doing, yeah. Her. God damn. Tommy. I didn't know they had curtain jerkers in comedy. <laughs> he said, Hey Tony, we would have done a lot better just to stay over at the hotel and drink beer. We'd have saved a whole lot of money. We'd have had more laughs. <laughs> it killed me. And Cassio loves him too. So man, Tommy rich is one of our favorites. And hey, what do you know about the health of Tracy Smothers? I know it's that uh, they're doing a Chris Hero is doing a GoFundMe for him right now. Mm -hmm. By the way, I feel like we should mention. Do you know one of the big uh, chants for FBI? No. Where's my pizza? <laughs> and they would also do um, well, lots of lots of. Yeah, lots of things to disparage the good Italian names. No, just other mm, situations okay. that maybe they shouldn't have been joking about. Yeah. Uh, okay. Not like mafia stuff? Well, they would just chant like, you suck dick and things like that. Oh, not like your grandma has a mustache or anything like that. No, I mean, more like you suck dick and things like that. Or she's okay. a crack whore. Uh, okay. Got it. Uh, sweep it up, asshole. Sweep it up. Okay. How about this? Man. I don't know about that, Nova. I know you were the innovator of offense, but I don't know if a choke slam and then a, uh, an atomic dick, but those are, that those go together. Uh, Supernova is the innovator of offense. Yeah. He called himself that because oh, okay. Tommy well, Dreamer good. called himself the innovator of violence. Well, he called himself the innovator of offense, but really it was probably Canyon. Yeah, he was. By the way, if blue mini can be a wrestler, I can be a wrestler. I can mince all. Really? 
next time you come over, I'll, I'll do it in the pool for you. It's a little bit different doing it in the pool than it is on a mat, Conrad. No, I understand, but I'm saying my, the ability to turn your fat ass in midair. You know, when fat ass is fly, fat ass is fly. Okay. I love, I'm sure Paul e knows this. I love that you're trying to fucking convince me that a wrestling ring is not the same as a goddamn swimming pool. Like I'm that fucking. Hmm. Come on. <laughs> well, they're both. I mean, there's a blue mat and this, the, the water in the pool's blue. So some dumbass may mistake it for it. First of all, I'm colorblind and you're showing off. And by the hmm. way, let's track it. As to what Crazy Smothers just did. The dancing is purely coincidental, I assure you. This is too much. Referee John Finnegan now in the center of the ring. Perhaps he's going to put a stop to. Tony, what do you think about in the middle of a match having a dance off that includes the referee? I'm just so glad that when the blue meanie was doing his dance, that his nuts didn't go flopping out of his jorts there because it, it looked like it came very close. Were you really looking for him? Uh, you just never, I mean, I was saw him dance. I'm thinking, uh Oh, them jorts are very shorts. So you're, you're like a passionate hog watcher. No, I'm not a passionate hog watcher. I, I'm just a hog watcher, hog watcher. I'm just, uh, just concerned about my fellow man here. Look at the referee. All right, so the referee just body slammed Tracy Smothers. Where are you at on this? Now, <laughs> now Guido gets one. Why not? Fans love it, right? Why not? I'm for all that silly stuff. Look at the crowd, by the way. It'd be easy for us to shit on it, but look at the crowd. Oh, I know. I know. It goes It goes down to this, Conrad. And I know there's a lot of old school guys out there. I get it. Where are they at? Well, I don't know where they are. They're not listening to us, but there's a lot of old school guys out there, but I'm just for being entertained, right? Sure. Being entertained. And if that means something silly, that means something nutty. If that means something crazy, then by golly, let's do it. I've always been that, always been that way. Give you a perfect example. I'm listening. Do you see the latest bubbly bunch? Yeah. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I thought that was very entertaining. Yeah. I liked it two weeks ago when I saw it on TV. Yeah. But you see the one where like even Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes and all of them took a bump. Yeah. I'm, I'm being a smart ass about the don't rush thing that WWE did that AW borrowed there. It was tremendous because you had like mainstream celebrities and mm -hmm. I was shocked with several of the folks you guys got involved. I'm just trying to take the piss out of you right now and piss you off and it's not working. No, it's not. Yes. I loved it. I Cause I don't know what show. the WWE is doing. I don't care what they're doing. I'm not watching them. The only thing concerns me about the WWE is I want them like us, like impact, like everybody else to be able to get back in front of full houses again. Well, impact hadn't been in front of full houses yeah, in a okay. long time. Theoretically. I'm busting balls, by the way. Why does nobody give impact any respect? That's a real question. You know, it's recently been brought to everyone's attention. I think it was Mike Elgin who said Dave Meltzer should cover, cover impact. And I was like, he does. And I started looking, I was like, well, not really. <laughs> and I, don't, I don't really know why like mm. and again i'm not picking on dave here i'm just saying it doesn't feel like you they're ever really in the conversation unless there's something really new uh newsworthy like oh tessa's the the men's champ now or mm. Tessa said this or that i mean if it's some sort of major positive negative news you you hear about it you know whether well, who, who writes their tv for them who's their scott demore and uh, uh cyrus the virus okay well Don, Good luck to him. Don Callis. You're Don right. Calais. Why do you keep calling him Calais? It just sounds more, but that's not his name. Well, my name's not ski either, but it never stopped a couple of people. So they're one, two and three. No, only a two count. Um, but you know, there's a lot of other wrestling promotions. There's impact. There's ring of honor. There's MLW, there's NWA. I want to see all of them prosper. If wrestling is hot, then it's good for all of us, I think. Right. 
I've always felt that way, so I have no ill will towards anybody. You at times, Dave Silva at times, what? Matt Coon always. But other than that, no, no ill. Well, Tracy Smothers could do a lot of good stuff. And here's the thing: you never had a reason to be mad at me. You're just no, a, you're mm-hmm. just a woman. No, I, 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 no, I just I've never had a reason to be mad at you, but that's never stopped me before. No, I know. That's what being married all these years gets you. I'm not married to you, you motherfucker. Uh, no, it just gets you a chip on your shoulder about everything. It gets you surly about life. You see, oh, look at that front face pancake. You're excited about calling wrestling, I can tell. Yeah. Why don't you call it with your mouth hole? No, I don't know. I, I get paid to do that for a living. Well, you're getting paid for this. I don't know. If you I know. know. Whoa, look at Blue Meanie. I'd love to see Blue Meanie and Conrad Thompson in a moonsault contest. Oh, it'll happen. <laughs> Meanie, I know you're listening. Let's make wow. it happen. It's not like we can do it in front of a crowd, so we'll do it in my pool. <laughs> Bring the wife down, spend the weekend. <laughs> we'll order food because we can't go out. Mm-hmm. But I know where the good eating is, Meanie. You can trust me. Mm. Restaurants are not restaurants are not open yet in uh, Huntsville. No, of course not. Mm. We're real. We're like decent civilized. No, you, yeah, right. Watch well, out! Somebody say something about big guy up top. Oh, got. Oh my God! Look at this, Kaplunk. Fudge. Holy shit! Has an earthquake here, Conrad? A goddamn earthquake! Somebody, somebody throwing that at Italian flag from Italy. I look at the referee just run to the wrong corner, to, and like he can't see, but then he does see. And we'll yeah, I gotta it. throw it out. And that's ECW, baby. He just uh, body, I guess you can. He body slammed these fuckers earlier. One, two, three. That's it. Blue meanie. And let's, uh, run, let's run through this. The FBI with the baby faces here. They were the goddamn referee body slammed them. <laughs> the fix was in. BWO or cheaters. That's all there is to it. You hear me? Yeah. Always got to pick on the Italians. By the way, that match got half a star. They went nine minutes and 27 seconds. It's an unannounced match. Unannounced. Unannounced. Hmm. Meaning they didn't advertise it. I I know. Meaning, wonder why they were afraid to scare people off. He was trying to just slide stuff in. They'd they'd sell their pay per view on like, you know, four or five matches and then just fill it in. Hmm. How about a one of five fifty in the front row? What is that? What he paid for the ticket? That's what I'd pay for a, a pass to Tammy Stitch's OnlyFans. Boom! Did you see? Uh, did you see your boy Jr. a couple of weeks ago promoting Sonny's back and got an OnlyFans? Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.